This video is sponsored by Setapp. Today in New York City, Microsoft announced its new Surface lineup for the 2019 holiday season and previewed some future devices. So in this video, we're gonna go over everything that the company debuted at its event. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Although it won't be available until late 2020, Microsoft announced its latest innovation called the Surface Neo, a foldable dual display tablet. And alongside the Neo, Microsoft also announced its return to the mobile phone game with the Surface Duo. The Surface Neo features two nine inch displays that can unfold into one larger 13 inch form factor. Now this isn't quite a foldable display like the Galaxy Fold that we checked out a few days ago, and instead is two separate displays that can communicate with one another and work together. You can hold the device like a book and use one display for email and the other to check out your calendar, fold back one display and use it like more of a traditional tablet form factor, or even set it up like a laptop. The Surface Neo has a detachable Bluetooth keyboard that when you unfold will cover most of the second display, but it does leave a pretty significant bar that Microsoft is calling the Wonder Bar, but seems to be much more useful and functional than Apple's Touch Bar. The Surface Neo will run Windows 10X, custom software that's obviously based off of Windows 10, but better suited for dual displays and mobility. We don't know a whole lot about what's actually on the inside of the Neo at this moment in time, but we do know that it's powered by Intel's Lakefield processors. While Microsoft was announcing the new Surface Neo, I couldn't help but dream about a more mobile version of this, a phone. And then much to my surprise, Microsoft actually dropped a one more thing on us and announced the Surface Duo. The Surface Duo features two 5.6 inch displays that can also rotate 360 degrees and can be turned into a 8.3 inch tablet. Again, the display itself does not fold, but with the help of a hopefully sturdy hinge, we have two displays into one form factor. This is the first phone that Microsoft has released since the retirement of the Windows Phone back in 2017. This time around, Microsoft partnered with Google, making the Surface Duo an Android device that's heavily skinned to look a lot like the Windows 10X software found inside of the Surface Neo. Unfortunately, at the event in the hands-on area, we were blocked off from getting to hold or even see these devices close up, but I was able to snag a shot or two with my zoom lens. These are functional prototypes at this current moment in time, and the design might change slightly, but for the most part, we can expect to see these devices in late 2020. So what about the products that you can buy now? Well, the entire Surface lineup has been updated with a new Surface Pro 7, Surface Laptop, and the all new Surface Pro X. We can start with the Pro X, which is the newest and more interesting device of the group. The Surface Pro X is designed and priced to compete with the higher end iPad Pros. We have a 13 inch three x two display with the famous Surface kickstand and a super slim and very light look and feel. There is a new type cover that integrates with the new Surface Slim Pen, which when docked inside of the type cover is always charging and when pulled out is ready to immediately write down notes or draw out sketches. Microsoft also called this device modular because users can actually access the internal SSD, offering up the ability to swap out drives. There's also an SQ1 processor inside, LTE connectivity, and 13 hours of battery life, which is actually capable of being fast charged to give you 80% of battery in less than an hour of charging, which is pretty crazy for a laptop sized device. And oh, there's also two USB-C ports, which is always a nice touch. The Surface Pro X will be available in early November for a starting price of $999. The Surface Laptop 3 was also announced and is a nice little update to the Surface Laptop 2, coming in a few different colors or finishes. You can now go for the traditional Alcantara fabric or machined aluminum for even more premium look and feel. One new update that Windows fans will absolutely love is the inclusion of a USB-C port, which was one of my main gripes about the Surface Laptop 2. It would be nice to see multiple USB-C ports here, but I'll take what I can get. There's also an even larger version of the Surface Laptop 3, now coming in 15 inches, but still maintaining a light and thin design and form factor. The 13 inch variant has a quad core 10th gen Ice Lake Intel processor, and the 15 inch will actually have two new AMD processors and not Intel processors. Microsoft claims the AMD Ryzen Surface Edition chips will be the fastest processors in any laptop of its class. One of my favorite things about the Surface Laptop was in fact the keyboard, but I wasn't a fan of the smaller trackpad, especially coming from gigantic trackpads that are offered in MacBooks. And it seems as though Microsoft agrees with me and the company increased the size of the trackpad across both devices. The Surface Laptop 3 will start at $999 for the 13 inch and $1199 for the 15 inch and will be available later this month. 
finally, as I mentioned before, Microsoft updated its regular Surface Pro, the Surface Pro 7, but also introduced another accessory, the Surface Earbuds. The Surface Earbuds are wireless in-ear headphones that are designed to compete with Apple's AirPods. And the design of these things are interesting. They look like stylish gauges, but with the ability to interact with them via gestures for what I assume are playback controls, as well as a live translation feature for communicating with others who might not speak the same language as you. It's kind of similar to what we saw Google try to do with its Pixel Buds. You can also live transcribe your own words into something like a PowerPoint presentation if the buds are connected to your computer. The Surface Buds have that large round surface that's visible from the outside, but the part that goes in your ears look like more traditional earbuds. I didn't get a chance to really test them out and see how they sound, but we'll definitely do a comparison to AirPods in the near future. The Surface Buds offer eight hours of battery life and the charging case can give you an additional 24 hours of use. The earbuds start at $249 and will be available later this year. There was a lot announced at the Microsoft event today, products available now, and exciting new tech for the not too distant future. Let us know your thoughts on the new Surface products in the comments section down below. Was there anything that might make you leave the Apple ecosystem? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Before we end today's video, I do want to give more information about this month's channel sponsor, Setapp. Setapp is one of the best places to find new and useful applications for your Mac. Setapp packs over 150 Mac apps into just one. Every apps developer on Setapp provides full support and seamless updates for their creations so that you can focus on yours. Since data is largely cloud-based, it only makes sense that apps should be too. Setapp installs and uninstalls apps instantly while retaining your settings so that you own it all without hogging the space. There are so many useful applications that I use on a daily basis like Paste, Sip, Downy, and much more, with new apps being added constantly, as well as consistent free updates to existing applications. Use Setapp completely free for the first week to see if it fits with your workflow by clicking the link in the description down below.